The 1960s was an influential time in culinary history and was a time of international foods, imported foods, food-related inventions, and food made simple. Food was usually made from scratch since pre-made food hadn't gotten very popular yet. This was because the microwave hadn't been invented, so food was usually cooked on the stovetop or grill, which requires more skill. They would put anything from full salads to full meals encased in gelatin. The 1960s were truly a time of food-related advancements. In 1960, the Granny Smith apple, which originally grows in Australia, were first introduced to the U.S. In 1961, the Coca-Cola company first introduced Sprite, and the book Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child was first released. In 1962, the first Taco Bell opened in Los Angeles, and Kiwis were introduced to America. In 1963, pull tabs on cans were patented, and Tang, the drink powder, was selected by NASA to accompany astronauts into space. In 1964, Roald Dahl wrote Ch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Pop-Tarts were introduced to the public. Buffalo wings were served at the first, for the first time in Buffalo, New York, and Doritos were invented. In 1965, researchers at the University of Florida invented Gatorade. In 1968, the restaurant Red Lobster was started. And in 1969, the first Wendy's opened. In the 1960s, people commonly ate toast, cream of wheat, oatmeal, cereal, pancakes, fruit, yogurt, and sometimes cottage cheese for breakfast, although they also ate many other different foods as well. Lunch in the 1960s often consisted of foods such as sandwiches, burritos, deviled eggs, raw fruit and vegetables, soups, burgers, meatloaf, or canned food, which had started to gain popularity. Dinner seems to be the most important meal of the day in the 1960s because it was the time when the largest variety of food was eaten. People ate food such as meatloaf, pot roast, pork or beef, with fresh veggies, ribs, steak, spaghetti with homemade sauce, canned ravioli, enchiladas, Mexican food, Chinese food, and TV dinners, which had just started catching popularity. How did the food people ate in the 1960s reflect their lifestyle? The food that people ate in the 1960s tended to be very simple, which showed that life in the 1960s tended to be very simple. There weren't very many complications or large worries about food. What made certain foods more popular to eat in the 1960s? In the 1960s, it was more common to eat food that, that didn't take much preparing, it didn't really require much work, and it still tasted pretty good. As life became busier and busier, the simpler the food was to make, the better. How has our focus on nutrition changed since the 1960s? In the 1960s, no one really knew what was in the food that they were eating. They just kind of ate it. But now, we know what all of the stuff that's in our food could do to our bodies, and are now focusing on promoting a healthy lifestyle which includes eating food that doesn't include many of the unhealthy food products that were commonly eaten in the 1960s.